Hello boys and girls, welcome to Fake Over My Shoulder as I spread my new vision all over Halat and uh, I have found the uh, first campsite I'm, I'm guessing that's our safe place and I have, I have even uh, learned to navigate a wee bit these frozen lakes. Huh, is there something in the middle here, I wonder? Something to be found. I don't think so. But let me let me explore these little old islands nevertheless, if I can. They don't let me. Okay then. If that's the case, I'm gonna carry on following the shoreline. So basically, right now, I am at this island, I think. I mean, at this lake. I, I came up here. Now oh, it also could be this lake. I don't know. I can't tell. Let's see. Even more reason to carry on uh, and follow the shoreline. Seems solid enough. Oh, is this a pathway through somewhere? It might be. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I should be able to go up there. In fact, I think I am able to go up here. Am I not? I am not. The game gave me a hint that occasionally uh, it, it pays off to explore some places where you can squeeze through and find uh, interesting passages and I suspect this is one of those places where, where you might work your way into a secret passage or you might not. Uh, but I think it might be one way, like it might be accessible from the other side, but not here. So uh, I still want to see what's in these islands, but I guess that's that's not to be. So this is the point that I couldn't access. managed to get uh, stuck in the texture once already, so I'm a little bit wary. Because if I if I fudge up too badly, then I think I have to start over the whole act. Okay. I wonder. I suspect that this is indeed this passage here. So we we came up this path, followed a frozen creek somewhere over here, and now I'm making it through and into the East Lake, I suppose. I suspect.
rain is somewhat similar as the one displayed in, uh, in the long dark except this is the eastern hemisphere which is Closer to home, that is uh, in uh, in North Finland and, uh, and Karelia and, uh, and the lakes of uh, of Northwest Russia, the the ancient peoples uh, often uh, carved like um, uh, water birds and. and Boats into the rocks. Oh, I think we have found something. I think we found a cave, which means. This area seems like a nice little contained system, plus it has the first uh, written coordinate, so it's like, uh, like a quest thing, I think. Let's not go there just yet, but... Ah, it's a torch! Oh, and that 
it's a torch as well, I missed, missed the boat. Yeah, so instead of going in here for right now, let's carry on, try to find the path on that side instead. forest there is this uh, special beauty about uh, spruces that have fallen into into bodies of water oh it's an obstacle I can't get through here oh I can no no I can't okay then you win spruce do I don't I Stuck no. Uh, the spruces that have fallen into bodies of water and are like half half rotten away, and uh, and the uh, wood is bare. They always remind me of some some uh, sort of carcasses. Not like a whale per se, but whaleish. some of these uh, paths and, and roads and what have you are one way or some passages. Both of these uh, are like one way. I can exit here but not enter. Story of my life. any 
jumping and there doesn't seem to be any elaborate physics so uh, all the uh, all the access ways are pretty obvious like either you can't walk there or you can't I mean either you can walk somewhere or you can't and there's no uh, no wiggle room or there's very little wiggle room This means I have to access these points from the other lake. Oh, what's this? Can I walk up here? I can, but only to a point. Oh no, please don't tell me I'm stuck again. further. This is cruel and unusual. Unless the point here is that these little bridges can be can be used to run away from something maybe. So I'm just going to take a wild guess that uh, another suspected one-way passage. I'm, go I'm just going to take a wild guess that all of our exploration is going to take place at night. Or most of the exploration. Like if there's daytime exploration then there is a blinding blizzard. secret passages. I, I doubt it. Seems to be quite obvious. Yeah, it didn't require crouching, therefore it's not secret. Because the journal guide or the uh, survival guide tells me that uh, occasionally might have to squeeze through some places and uh, this way you will find uh, interesting quote-unquote interesting passages okay I definitely found something here now so I'm guessing yeah that, that should be this center 
first because that's that's where I went through the cavity and this is the path which means I'm gonna explore the rest of the lake before I get to that just for good measure who knows they might have tucked away some secrets suspect there are secrets also there are these inviting no. cozy fires at the beginning I wanted to make things right oh. I believed God itself touched me that I have received a chance a compensation for the evil that was brought upon me then I understood that it is not God or good or restitution just a tool of revenge a person of fire. I wonder if we touch it, will we die? Probably. Oh, it just disappeared. Okay then. Is this a path? Follow the coastline on this side first. The thing with the map is that. Uh, okay, so this is the path up. Yeah, so th yeah, the thing with the map is that I often. Even though when I even uh, when I'm able to make sense of the shapes, I don't necessarily always assess the distances and the uh, and the scale correctly. So things that I think are in one place are actually other in other place, and things that I think are one thing are actually another thing. In that case, let me. Take a look at this thing first because this might be a secret or or an extra thing or something. Whoa! Forty-seven. What's it? Seven minutes east and ten minutes north, forty seven east. That's like north of that uh, that path, or north of that marked point. Let's see, can we interact with this? Also, is is this like is this like a hint to a secret? Let's see. Uh, no, I, I just want to lose the flashlight. Okay.
me uh, let me uh, follow the other coastline as well. Mm, the opposite coast. Ten forty-seven. Ten forty-seven. Seven that other bonfire. Also, what's this? I think that's where I came from. Yeah. question is on this uh, little island next to the fire will that uh, tree be like walkable and will I be able to get to the other side on that That should be 1047.
up, but but there is no way forward from that up. Under this uh, quote unquote person of fire, uh, is, is he the one who's been narrating? Like, is he the one who says, I'm right behind you, and I mean, there is somebody else sleeping in that tent? Like, is, is that him? Is he sort of our guide through this thing, or what? Bushes, damn it. Ah. Can't see shit. I want to get up to that tree and I want to climb that tree and walk on it and and get further up. Is that not what you're telegraphing here, game? What you're hinting at? I mean, there's obviously a path over there, but why not there? Or is this like our exit strategy? Oh, I think I need to crouch. possibly go wrong. Hey yo We've had some 
somewhat similar uh, wooden idols over here. Not exactly the same, but pretty close. explains the name because uh, as far as I've researched uh, the uh, Halachahul stands for dead mountain or mountain of the dead show me the map now so we walked up here okay now we need to meander across the bridge and then I think go through caves or something okay follow the path. Hello! Okay, this seems to be like a passage point. I guess. I mean, you could, I don't know, rise above the horizon and blink a little bit and, and you know, show me the way. the quote-unquote bridge, I guess. So where I pick up the papers, uh, the map will, uh, will remember that. The map will remember. Now what? Do I need to pass through here? Oh, okay, so I think now I'm at this, this point. I need to keep going straight and then turn right. Ah! See, I'm coming. Hello! Should we run? Probably not. Let's just carry on. tree seems to be leading somewhere, if we can get there, of course. Probably not. 
Hello. <gasps> Pretty. Water. Oh my. Do I get to get through here? I oh know. It's just, just like it's not like a. I thought it was a curtain, but it's more like a film, I guess. bears here. I mean, something is breathing. Okay, I think this is our first waypoint here. 7.52, is it? Yeah, exactly, 7.52. say that it's probably oh I think it's like warm uh, hot water or something maybe also what's with the white paint like on one hand I would I would think that it's a good practice to use a flashlight in the caves but on the other hand the game has advised me that uh, they should be careful what I shine it on. So I suppose if there's a bear in the cave it's probably not a good idea to shine a light on, on the bear. Is this like a special area? Ah no, that's just the way outside. Okay, let's carry on then. forward and this is so I guess I have to cross here no wait show me there's one of the wooden oilers over there yeah so this this is the bridge which means I need to turn back Missing something here? The map shows that the cave has a branching path somewhere around here. I 
guess that might be it. So I'm gonna guess that I'm not supposed to access it from this angle or what? I think I know what's happening. If I go through the caves here, then eventually I will end up in whatever chamber that I can see from here and I can only exit it one way. Okay. So if I cross if I cross that tree over here, then I should be able to make it to the uh, other lake somehow as well. Ah! Okay, we have another secret here. Fifty-seven ten north, fifty-seven east. Show me. It's something that I can only access from this path, I think, so that's where I'm going. I'm not going forward, but instead I'm gonna take another detour. No, 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 no. Go here. I think I need to get in, in here. Ow! Whoops. Did I die? Essentially, I can't just... Uh, which cave is this? Where I picked up the note, didn't I? So essentially, I can't just... Uh, um, drop down willy-nilly. I think I'm gonna stop recording here, because I now have to replay a bunch. And uh, I'm gonna carry on the, the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now. I'll see you then.